Alright, what's up guys? Now, I know I haven't made a video like this for a while, so I figured what better off way to start with uh, finishing off the PS3 scene. Uh, I don't have my capture card anymore for the PS3, so I will be shooting that with a GoPro, so I will apologize for that. But this is basically an update to your uh, custom firmware that you have been running oh so greatly. So, what I'm going to be going over in this video is these two files right here. This file is actually inside of this file, so don't worry about anything. I'll go through everything step by step. So first thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this Habib 7, or excuse me, Habib 476 Cobra version 1.0. This is the uh, 4.76 custom firmware that Habib has designed for the PS3s running on CEX based custom firmware. After you download that file, you're going to open it up and you're going to see this folder. <coughs> What I want you to do is extract that folder. Once you extract that folder, it will be here. If you open that folder up, you will see an update folder. Inside that update folder, I already have set up a ps 3 updatepup This is the custom firmware installation file. <clears throat> so what you're going to do with this is all you're going to do is go and plug in a USB stick. Uh, anything that's over at least uh, 250 megabytes. Uh, which I don't believe that this one is actually. All right, so I'm going to use this one instead. <clears throat> all right, and there we go. All right, and then simply all you're going to do is just drag and copy that to your thumb drive. So allow that to copy over like so, and then we're going to go to the PS3. Bum, 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 bum. Now, a few things to keep in mind, you do need to be running custom firmware in order to install this. Do not be on a DEX custom firmware and install this over a DEX custom firmware base. Uh, so, yeah, if you do, that's going to brick it, so don't do that. Also, if you try to install this over official firmware, it's not going to hurt you. It's just not going to do anything. Uh, so, regards to the... I think it's 3.76 or no 2.76 uh, official firmware on a PS3 you can install custom firmware over but anything higher than that it won't work so let's go to the PS3 wow I almost said PS4 all right so here we are at the PS3 screen uh, like I said I apologize for not having my screen cap but what you're gonna do is after you put your USB in, it doesn't matter left or right port don't matter uh, hit system update and you're gonna scroll down to now if you're on a modern uh, up-to-date custom firmware you're gonna see that you have update via system storage delete update data upon system storage and update via internet it's kinda gonna be blacked out unless there's something there uh, but you're just gonna select update via storage media and you should see the uh, 476 PS3 update so uh, what you can do is you can save the update data on system storage as well uh, if you have that option I mean it's semi handy uh, if not then uh, just select the update and it will load the update and then it's gonna copy the update data to the system storage and uh, delete it immediately after it's installed so we'll just uh, wait for this here to finish all right so here we are pretty much almost done here we're at 92 percent 93 it's climbing fast and we're at 100 the ps3 will reboot and again i apologize for the gopro i feel kind of awkward standing in front of my television recording it with a camera now it's going to check for the update data hit the ps button on your controller if your controller is dead make sure it's plugged in via usb install. Now this won't take as much time as it was uh, transferring the system's file to the system, I guess. Uh, so well, usually with PS3, from what I remember, once it gets to like halfway, it just kind of skyrockets through it. So then you just wait for this process to finish. Okay, so I kind of missed it. It literally got to 53% and then jumped to 100, just like I said it would. Uh, so now it's rebooting here. Hit the PS button on your controller. And just wait for it to pop up. And you will see your PlayStation 3 logo come up. And that's it. So we will go up to, if it allows me to. I would grab the garbage controller. And you can see. PlayStation Network logo is different. 
776 IP address has been completely blocked uh, due to security features of the custom firmware and we are still able to run all of our other custom firmware stuff so we have installed package files here and there I believe backwards compatibility has been added with this um, but I'm not too sure so uh, let's try and boot up multi-man and see what happens here functional custom firmware. Uh, so the custom firmware works, I just need to get the multi-man and the uh, backup managers that work with this custom firmware. But, so that's updating. So as you can see, I have been out of the scene for a while. So, but this is custom firmware 4.76 uh, Habib. Uh, Cobra is installed as well. As well as I believe backwards compatibility, but I'm not sure. I'm going to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. So rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on my Google Plus forms as well, where everything is PM from YouTube, and I will be getting a screen capture card. I'm going to be finishing up the PS3 scene, and I will soon be starting the PlayStation 4 scene with the installation of 